Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about the drug abuse and drug use of the music industry and um, how it affects people that's not in the music industry and how it affects people that's in the music industry. We also have a little clip of Keith Murray, which is sad uh, what happened to him. And um, yeah, so we'll be back, man. Stay tuned. Yo, Keith, man. Yo, Keith. Are you kidding me? Yo, Keith. <laughs> that's the Keith Murray? Yeah, that's the Keith Murray. Yo, back up. Yo, Keith. Yeah. What the fuck is he on? <laughs> Yo! Yo, Keith! Yo, Hula Dula! Uh, Alright, man, Sketch Pat. You know what it is. Y'all seen it here, y'all seen it here. So, what's your thoughts on this, man? On this, this topic of uh, rappers and artists falling victim to drug abuse or drug use. And, and it seems like no one's there to help them. And they only there to, uh, I guess, criticize them because, you know, some people when they was on top, they'd be like, oh, you used to be this guy you had because, you know, people are under the impression when you in the music industry that you're rich. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say, oh, you you was in the game. You know, you 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 had enough. You did it. You did it. How did you fall off? So what you think about this, man? Well, for one, um, I have to like to say, uh, for one, um, I don't feel, okay, well, let me say it like this. These artists and their entourages, some of their entourages are full of shit. Let me just say that. And the reason why I say that is because, like, when you see your man's down, you don't allow them to stay down. You know what I mean? You find a way to build them back up. You know, um, it might not be that easy at times. It might not be that simple, whatever. But you find a way to get them back to where they need to be. You know, uh, a lot of these entourages, the meal ticket, the person that's paying all the bills, keeping the lights on, getting everybody where they need to be. That's the one that usually falls victim to the drugs, the alcohol, the gambling, whatever you want to call it. And instead of these entourages, you know what I'm saying, lifting them up, they're usually the ones that are continuing the buffoonery. Which is odd to me because, like, in the clip that we seen of Keith Murray, the guy seems like he knows Keith Murray personally, or he might be familiar with him. And even if you're not familiar with Keith Murray, right, which I highly doubt that most people aren't familiar with him, like, um, why are you taping him like that? So you don't want to tape the man at his highest moment but you rather take the guy in his darkest hour? That's like stupid. Like, mm-hmm. like the audacity of this individual, you know what I'm saying, to go embarrass that man like that. That man got, that man, I'm pretty sure he got kids. I'm pretty sure he got family. I'm pretty sure he got all these things and they don't want to see him like that. And this guy is just like taping him like that. And it's pretty messed up, man. Like, you see a lot of these uh, artists going through their struggles with addiction, and it's pretty messed up. I mean, I could go down a list 
you already know Eminem, DMX, rest in peace. You know, um, I could go on and on and on and on and on, you know what I mean? And the thing is, like, a lot of these artists don't have the right people in their circle. Now, I can't say that for DMX, though, because DMX did have some good people around him, you know what I mean? But it, that's a rare, that's a rarity, you know what I'm saying? Like, not a majority of these artists don't have nobody with them that is willing to get them help. Most of the time, they got a bunch of scumbags with them that are just there for the dollar. And it's messed up, man, because you see Keith Murray, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Like, a lot of us that was in the hip-hop, you know what I mean? Keith Murray was that guy. When it came to bars, lyrics, you know what I mean? Putting them words together, Keith Murray was that guy. And to see him like that is just heartbreaking, you know what I mean? That's our era, bro. And to see him, like, in the state that he was in, that's like, he was on some zombie apocalypse type stuff, man. Like, and the dude was laughing. And then even if you go into the Hollywood celebrities, old girl that uh I sent you the video of, she's been in and out of addiction for years, bro. The girl from In Your House, in and out of addiction for years. And it's like a ongoing struggle with it. And Hollywood does not make it any better, bro. Like, they make it worse, but, I mean, it was sad, man. It was sad. Like I say, I always say it, you're a good guy, man, because <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I believe that everybody makes their own mistakes. I don't put this on nobody but him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go as far as saying I would laugh at him because I don't laugh at people's pain. Yeah. And I don't, I, it's not like that type of, I don't care. <clears throat> I think that everybody's responsible for themselves. Mm. He knew exactly what he was doing and he knew. I have this argument with my, on my other show with my other partners. My other partner said, oh, well, you can't be like that. Yes, I can. Because everybody knows what's right from wrong. You have enough evidence out there to tell you, if you do this, you will be like this. They have a whole city right. in Philadelphia, part of Philadelphia, Kensington. If you drive to Kensington, you already know that that is the heroin or dope head capital of the United States. And some say the world. Yeah. Bruh. It's terrible. <sighs> So if you, you have, you have, uh, you know, when people say you have to lead by example or you, um, you know, uh, what they call that, uh, when they say, uh, lessons you learn, you know, it, it's better to learn from someone else than learn from, from yourself. Their experiences, someone else's experiences can actually shape and mold you. So these people. They know what drugs can do. Drugs been around for years. What is it different now? Is a different type of drug? This drug's gonna help you. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna thrive and become a millionaire off doing these drugs. This is the new type of drugs, right? These are the same drugs that messed up most of the musicians in the 60s. Yeah. These are the same drugs, well, actually, it's more potent now, that messed up DMX, that messed up Eminem. That messed up Joe Buttons. These drugs messed these people up. Now, some of them, some of them got out of it and they survived. But I don't feel sympathy for people like that no more. Because once you hit a certain age, you know right from wrong. You know that you weren't supposed to do this. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want nobody to feel sympathy for me if it ever, if that ever happened. Because I knew. If I take this pill, I'm going to, I could get addicted to it. Well, if I shoot, first of all, for you to shoot something in your arm, that takes a lot of courage. Right. You have to really be out of your mind to take a needle and put it in your arm. 
You get what I'm saying? I think people don't recognize that. They just look at it. Oh, he shoots dope. No, you have to be really, really, really out of your mind for you to tie something around your arm and then poke yourself and fill your veins up with something. That's a lot to do. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you think you think it has something to do with uh, just like a escape route, you know, like um, something to just get away from all the pain because a lot of times when when these uh, when these individuals you know get addicted, they're at their darkest moment. You know what I mean? And um, I mean, and I'm not, and, and I'm not, and, and, and by no means am I am, am I being that empathetic to the point that you know these people don't know right from wrong. Well, you want me to answer that? Huh? You want me to answer that question? Yeah, go ahead. Then I'll finish what I was going to say. Certain people, I believe, was co-horsed into doing things. But Mm -hmm. some of these people, they enjoy getting high. It's not that uh, they was at their darkest hour. It might seem like it, but given it any chance, they'll keep getting high. They won't stop. You know what I'm saying? Some people, to me, when we was when we was growing up, getting high, you was depressed, and you and you felt like you had nothing. Most people, they didn't. A lot of people said they liked getting high, but but it was surprising to hear that they liked getting high back in the day because it was more of a you getting high because you have nothing else. Now, people get high because they like to do it. They could have the world. Keith Murray had Keith Murray. Keith Murray didn't have the world, but he had more than us. And look where he's at now. So addiction don't have no face, so it could catch anybody. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, given the position you're in, I mean, you have to think about it like this. If you if you're in that position, if I was in a position of Keith Murray, I would have never let that position go. You know what I'm saying? But again, go ahead, you can finish your point. Yeah, um, so the point I'm trying to get is that uh um and by I will repeat this again. Um I have empathy as far as what these individuals are going through, but I also understand that they know right from wrong and they know what they supposed to do and what they not supposed to do. My point is that, you know what I mean? A lot of these things, these cycles that they go through as far as addiction, sometimes it can be hereditary. Like if I'm born into addiction, because my mother got high or because my father got high, grandparents could have been addicted. You know what I'm saying? Anybody in the family, nine times out of 10, depending, that's gonna happen to me too. So I'm trying to see like, was Keith Murray born into that type of environment? Was DMX born into that type of environment? Was Eminem born to that type of environment? It could be possible. I know DMX had some rough times c- coming up. We all know Eminem's stories. He rapped about it like 5,000 times on all his songs. So we know about his pain. So what I'm saying is that a lot of times it is hereditary. Like they, that's what they know. You know what I'm saying? So that's their escape route to get out. Like we 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 just had the episode. That's we just had the episode uh, not too long ago with uh, with old girl and uh, and the young boy. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody know what that boy was exposed to before he even met that girl. On top of that, you know what I'm saying? We not even slapping her on the wrist and saying that she innocent because if he was to even be exposed to something. She just exposed him to even more. So now he's not even thinking like a 13-year-old no more. He's thinking like a grown man because he just got himself some grown yams. 
You know what I mean? And he got it convincingly. So what I'm saying is, man, what I'm saying is that a lot of times when you're in those type of places, those are your routes to get out. I know it doesn't make any sense to a lot of people, but you know what I mean? When you're in that environment, unless unless you're in that environment, unless you're born in that environment, nobody wants to be born in it, for one. Nobody wants to be in that environment. But unless you're actually in that type of environment to really see, the, you know what I'm saying? We can't really, you know what I mean? We can't really, like, you know, like... Uh, shun them too much like i said i'm not i'm not having that much empathy for them but i do understand like some people are just you know what i'm saying some people are just their 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 mind is not as uh strong as others and you know what i mean and they and they fall victim you know what I mean? um it's a couple of things i i disagree with even though i know that that's the on paper that's what they say as yeah. far as uh, it's hereditary, I definitely think it's environmental. Because if you were, if you were your mother, say your mother was on crack, and you were a crack baby, and they put you in the suburbs where there was no drugs, most likely you won't be trying to get crack. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. When people say things are hereditary. Um, I think it's more of the environment and who you surround yourself with. That's where the hereditary to me comes in at. Because if you grew up in the projects 